So hi everyone, welcome to the group discussion for this position of Founders Office at Unique Biotech. So we'd like to start off with your introductions. So maybe 60 seconds for a quick intro. Suresh on the timer, please. Yeah, who'd like to go in first with your introduction? Suresh, you can start the stop clock. Okay, Bhaskar first and Aditi goes in second. Uh, Suresh, you can give him a go ahead and then he'll, he'll start pitching. Madhav goes third. Uh, okay, Bhaskar, you may start. Uh, thank you, Tarun, for, for giving this opportunity. Uh, I am Bhaskar. I belong to Hyderabad. My ST qualification is post graduation. Opposed that, I, I done my training in data science. Uh, I'm pairing around eight months of data science internship experience from different institutions. I'm quite good in uh, Python, ML algorithms, different frameworks, uh, cloud platforms, and NLP techniques. Now, if I talk about my hobbies, uh, I'm fond of playing chess and reading books. That's all about from my side. Thank you. Thank you, Master. Uh, Oti Aditi, uh, yeah. on the timer. Yeah, Aditi, you may start. So, hello all. I'm Aditi Pandey, and I belong to Indoor City. And I have recently done my undergraduation in biotechnology. From uh, uh, working in the area, I realized that uh, data analytics is a field that we may incorporate with the biotechnology. And along with the computational biology methods, we can uh, make a better uh, system for working uh, because many of the biologists uh, just uh, try researching in the field. So I realized that this problem where uh, they don't get a chance to interact uh, with the data really. So I need an approach where we can interact with the data uh, along with the biological aspects. So uh, my pitch is all about that. Um, and yes, I'm uh, keenly interested in working with Unique Biotech in this project. That's all. Oh, all right. Yeah. Uh, Suresh, next is Madhav. Yes. Madhav, so my name is, oh, yes, my name start. is Madhav. I have done my graduation in BSc Mathematics Honors from MIT University in Noida and my post-graduation in MSc Mathematics and Computing in uh, IIT Hyderabad. And I have a good understanding in mathematics. This is the reason I uh, came to this field because uh, if we see a, a complete project in, of a data science, uh, the complete pipeline of a data science project from pre-processing to uh, model building, we see mathematics everywhere. So that's why I find myself, uh, uh, that's why I find, my, my, find myself uh, reliable for this job. And uh, I, 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 I know the background details of most of the algorithms and machine learning and data science is just not about running algorithms and seeing the results. It's more about uh, seeing the background details of the process. Thank you. All right. Uh, yeah, Bhuvanesh. Uh, Bhuvanesh, yeah, uh, hi, myself, Bhuvaneshwar. Uh, I have completed my graduation in 2019. Uh, then I have worked for uh, uh, worked as a warehouse manager it, uh, for uh, 2.9 years. Uh, uh, from then, I had an uh, interest uh, in pursuing data science. So after 2.9 years, uh, I just joined at IIIT Hyderabad, and uh, I'm uh, uh, currently I'm pursuing my data science from IIIT Hyderabad. Thank you. Okay, Utkarsh. You oh, start. Hello guys. Uh, my name is Utkarsh Kumar Gupta and basically I'm from UP Sonbhadra and uh, I have completed my UG in BCA and I have completed from Varanasi and currently I'm pursuing my MCA from Central University of Karnataka which is situated in Gulbarga, Karnataka and uh, I have learned in I have learned AI and ML in my PG, so I have quite expertise in this field. Like uh, it is quite similar to data science, so I got interested in this. And just now, I'm not decided. Like uh, just I'm exploring the things, so I got quite interested in data science. So I moved toward this. So I'm looking for uh, data science job, so I can so I can uh, contribute to the field and to the company. That's it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Utkarsh. So um, the first question which I have for all of you is, uh, what is your understanding of this project, right? What is the problem that we're trying to solve? Can I go first? Okay, Bhaskar went in first. Aditi can go second. Yeah, Bhaskar. Uh, Tarun, here the business problem is, um, here the business problem is, uh, 
uh, yeah, the founder is getting a, a number of queries from the clients regarding the uh, probiotics. It is difficult to handle handle her handle to her. Uh, in, 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 here, I, here I'm going to uh, maximize the customer satisfaction, I mean client satisfaction, and uh, improve the operational performance so that I, I, will, minima I will minimize the uh, stress and burden of uh, burden to the founder. founder. A, a quick follow-up question. Uh, this is a 22-year-old company. Yes. Uh, not a startup, but a stable company. Uh, about 500 uh, workers overall. Am I right, Krishna? 250 on roles and 250 contract, right? So the 500 employees, uh, 35 members in the sales team, uh, right? Working with a corporate structure, right? So why do you think this problem exists when it's a very stable organization? Okay, if you want, you can come back a little later, Vaskar, or to Aditi. Sir, here, here the main intention is, uh, I, the main intention is, uh, we should, uh, we, I will improve the client's satisfaction. You have not understood my question, Vaskar. Uh, you may want to think and come back later. Or to Aditi. Yeah, sure. So, what I've understood from the problem is that uh, there is a lot of influx about the queries. The queries are specifically related to the biological problems, right? Uh, at what uh, temperature uh, the strain can be used, or like at what application the strain can be used. So, my approach to the problem is. Uh, we can uh we want to apply Abhi, uh, i'm not interested in looking at your solutions the question is only about your understanding the problem just your understanding of the problem space okay so um as mentioned by you uh that uh, there is a lot of influx about the questions the queries and the questions are directly uh going to the uh, founder so the sales teams are not really expertise in the in the biological questions, right? So the founder directly uh, is answering all those questions. Uh, that's what I have understood from the problem. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah Madhav, please. Wait. Yes. Uh, so the problem is uh, the founder is getting technical questions directly to her, and she does not have an expertise in it. So she approaches someone else like that other department gets the result and then answers to the technical questions directly. So what happens is uh, there might be some questions which are getting repeated and there might be some questions which are backed up with a good reasoning. So if we, if, like, if we want to uh, sort satisfy that query, we have to uh, give a counter, so counter example of that reasoning. Hence, we need a solution so that uh, we create a, an interface through which- Again, you're uh, jumping into the solution. You are asked to explain the problem space. Madhav looks like you didn't get the problem right. You may want to go through the voice note again. Uh, yeah, who, who wants to go in next? Yeah, Bhuvneshwar, please go ahead. Uh, yeah, uh, what I actually understood is uh, the CEO of the company is actually getting um, more questions and uh, emails regarding the products uh, uh, like uh, which product uh, about some customers want to buy some products and some customer wants uh, uh, wants the instructions about the product how to use and all those things uh, so uh, it's too tough to handle the uh, all the customers uh, as a ceo uh, as they have many works to do and uh, many things to do um, so uh, here we have to uh, uh, help, uh, we have to work about that follow up question on the bhuvnesh uh, how to use the product and so on so do you think these questions cannot be handled by uh, the sales managers already i mean do you think it is these basic questions we are talking of uh, uh, as i have gone through the uh, uh, as I have gone through the voice note, uh, I listened that uh, uh, what temp uh, till how which temperature they have to heat the uh, product. Uh, that part I listened. So I thought it would it would be like a, a product uh, instructions about the product. 
ओके ओटी उत्कर्ष सो बेसिकली आई नोटेड द प्रॉब्लम इज विद प्रोबायोटिक एज आई गेट डीप इन टू दिस देन आई गेट टू नो दैट इट इज मोर बायोलॉजिकल and it's not possible for others to get the proper understanding of the uh, genes species and the strains how we can manage it how we can store where to store and every details so we need some specific person who has accurate knowledge of that who can guide the customers so as per my knowledge like uh, founder can answer only this question but uh, we need to reduce the workload of founder so we are making it uh, to making some model so the without getting in direct uh, contact with the founder we can directly answer the customers question by uh, sorting out the questions of the customers that's how that's what i get to know from the problem okay i, I have a follow up question open to any of you five to answer it so in most companies you have these inside sales people who uh, or, or you, sorry you have some of these uh, product specialists Who will know these questions and they'll answer on behalf of the company. So if you have gone through Unique Biotech's website carefully, what do you think is the uniqueness of Unique Biotech? Due to which it will be very tough for the founder to maybe ask another scientist or somebody else to answer those questions directly. Why do you think Unique Biotech is having this problem? Maybe other companies may not have this problem, but specifically Unique Biotech will have it. Why do you think that's happening? You've gone through the website, you would have understood. Yes, I have gone to the. May I? Yeah. yeah. So I have gone through the website, and uh, I get to know that they produce it uh, at in India only. Like uh, their largest uh, probiotic manufacturer, they producing the main probiotics here only. So it may be problematic to get some help from others or something. Okay. Yeah, Diti. Okay. so uh, basically it's not only about the biological aspect right so they are having more questions about a multidisciplinary aspect in what applications particularly and in like they are having a multidisciplinary questions about that so not only an ex expert in biology but an expert in other fields can handle it and as a developer like uh, she has a uh, The she's the founder, right? So she knows all the aspect of the product that is developed in the company. So she is the one who can answer all the aspect of the product. Okay, thank you for your responses, Upkarshan Aditi. Uh, so Dr. Ratna Sutha is a scientist herself, and the USP of Unique Biotech is the R and D driven products. So naturally, when so much of research is going into it. uh this questions can get very technical and probably there a lot of cards which are known only to her so that's where no matter how much of a team you build there it will be very difficult to distance it away uh from her and that's where technology will play a role so one last question i have before krishna uh, could come in uh so krishna leads this digital transformation initiatives and the growth initiatives of uh, you know unique biotech so uh, he'll have some questions to ask you but i thought i'll ask some questions so that uh you know the, he gets a basic awareness of how you are thinking before he comes in with questions so the last question i have for you is a slightly longer question so this is a a role that requires an individual who can take a great amount of responsibility right the two hires who will be picked up for this role will directly report to the chairman of an organization with 500 employees right so and uh, so it's a, it's a great opportunity to learn from a scientist a, a successful entrepreneur who's a scientist by training and there are two aspects right one aspect is to build a knowledge graph and the second aspect is to help her you know with uh, all the communications because there's a lot of work coming her way right so huge communication stream at her end so the two members will also help her in uh, streamlining her workflow more smoothly so that she can focus on the bigger responsibilities of the organization because unique biotech is growing very fastly right now we of course do not want our founder to be occupied in daily fire fighting right we want our founder to be thinking of the strategic initiatives of the company so the two members will have to diligently work on st uh, streamlining her workflow very smoothly besides of course building uh, this knowledge graph so 
we we are looking for a very responsible youngster who wants to be a part of the growth journey of the organization not someone who's only academic in thinking but someone who can see this as an opportunity for faster career growth to work with a very senior person learn from the senior person and contribute so i want someone who's more of a doer than a thinker and i want someone who will put the organization before self someone who will put the organization before self so my focus question is this you've been in observation process you understand how the dt ecosystem works you understand how people here take larger responsibilities so do you think you belong to this ecosystem and you think uh, you can contribute to this role and if you think it's yes why because the responsibilities are big the impact positive or negative either way the impact can be massive you screw up the impact can be massive you do well the impact can be massive so why do you think you could do justice to this role if you think you could do justice to the role is my question you've been in the observation process you've seen different people so after all of this do you really feel you can do justice to the role and if yes why ya yeah, bhuvneshwar yeah well, first of all i would like to say uh, we uh, we came from a uh, uh, we came from a different uh, thinking process uh, it's it's uh, uh, it's our education system where we uh, where we used to uh, we where we get used to think about like that uh, think like that uh, when i came to the uh, deep thought uh, it's it's a whole new culture like i i have learned uh, so yes i do believe i belong uh, in deep thought uh, and yes i i believe uh, i fit for this role because um, i value uh, i value more uh, more uh, about uh, culture and everything uh, and i would like to give my best to the company that's why i, I would like to uh, say uh, i'm fit for this role thank you thank you bhuvneshwar aditi let's wait krishna just got disconnected